Hello and welcome to Tech Story number 25. This time we're doing IC2 tools. Starting off with the basics, we have a tree tap. Very simple to make. So we'll just have one of those. Now with these, you look for rubber trees, which are identifiable by two or three blocks of leaves. I think it's three, protruding out from the top of it. As opposed to the trees like over there, where yeah, there's a clear difference. These are mainly found in the swamp barrens. But um but when you do find them, they're abundant, otherwise they're quite rare. Now, to use the tree tap, you look for these yellow blobs in the trees, which are sticky resin. Just right click, you can get some resin. See, I've got two. It's quite random what you get, but it ranges from one to three. And as you can see, there's still like an out, there's still like a print there. If you keep tapping that, you can probably get some more. Oh, it went. It's quite lucky whether you do or not. See, I got some more then. There's, I got some resin. And with that you just use it and extract it to get three rubber per resin or a flumus to get one rubber per resin. So that's a pretty easy one to use. Next is the step up from it, the electric tree tap. Now this is basically exactly like the tree tap except uh, when it it does not run out of life, you just have to carry a ten of them on which will just sad to go um, resin half instant. But if you have one We'll just wear away at the power. Uh, I can't really find many taps around here, but yeah, just wear away at the power. We can shove it into something like a charging bench, and it will go back up to full power. So you never ever need to make a new one. Very very nice. Just hoping I can actually test it. As you can see, it's got colon three, which means the power levels decreased a bit. Wow, it charges fast. Back up to one. It doesn't hold much power, which is why it charges so fast. But yeah. Okay. Next thing we're going to be looking at is the wrench. This is used for picking up and putting and replacing changing output input size for IC2 machines. So if I right click it here, it'll change the output to this size, any size I want. Also, if I hold down shift then click, but change it to the opposite side of what I right click on, as you can see. But if you right click on the side with the output, then it will drop the machine. Now, you have a chance to get it back as the original machine, but amazingly it's happening all the time here, but most of the time you will lose this. I thought there's more of a chance in survival multiplayer, but this is quite rare, I'm being very lucky today. Anyways, that's what you make the electric wrench for. Now, this, it has a mode that's the same as the wrench. However, what makes it different is if you hold on M and right click, you can turn on lossless wrench mode, which means you'll never ever lose the item, or maybe 99.9% .9 chance to not lose the item. And it works the same grammar, shift click, change output, right click on output to take it back. Yeah, quite easy to use. And you must have it if you're going to do some ice cream machines. Okay, next up, a mining drill. These are quite fun. Also, mm, basically it can dig through, not wood, but it can dig through dirt, gravel, stone, and a pretty fast rate. See? It's not bad rate. You can, however, upgrade this to a diamond drill by doing this. See? Now diamond drill, basically the same thing, it just goes a bit faster. Now why this is this superior to a pickaxe? Um, one, it costs the same amount of diamonds, so it's in equal terms of the cost. But two, you never need to remake it. You can just chuck it in your charging bench and bam, it's always going to be there. Oh wow, we're at 13, 13 dirt and 13 copper. That's the foreboding. Anyways, that's the uh, drill, the mining drill. Next up, chainsaw. I struggled to find much use for this, but it does make this annoying noise when we switch to it. Listen. Very annoying. All I found is it acts like an axe stroke shears. Oh, it doesn't work for these type of trees. If you use it on normal trees, see it drops these. Also works for vines. Yeah. Might work on sheep actually. Oh, 
That is so convenient. Let's try. Oh yeah. Wait, no. Actually, I don't know. I mean, if the sheep died, it might be droppable anyways. I'm gonna go with it kills the sheep. Because I know it does a fair bit of damage to normal mobs, as it one-shots almost everything. The final one, the mining laser. This, this is a personal favourite of the Ice Two Tools. If you hold on M and right click, you can change the mode. Low focus, I'll test them out one by one. Let's go back to low focus. And this, it has to be close range, but shoot one block and it'll mine one block. Oh, do you not always get it? I guess not. So you have a chance to lose the block you mine, so be careful if you use this for diamond or stuff. Right, next up is long range. Oh god. I'm going to aim straight down. Look at the level on that. 63. One right click. And I am at level 34. Just like that. It just took me down about 30 blocks. It's ridiculous. However, don't use it too much or it will lag your server stroke world. Horizontal, I like this one. If you right click on the block, it will go directly forwards. As long as your angle is not too steep. That's a pretty long range as well. Ooh, looks like it couldn't just reach over there. But it goes quite far and it's very good for digging out 2x1 tunnels for you to just pass through or to get to all with the dividing rods, stuff like that. Next mode, hold on one sec, I'm gonna switch to dating. Next mode is super heat. Some interesting facts here. If you right click to shoot onto sand, it turns into glass. It also does about three blocks, but Here's a nice one. If you right, if you shoot some cobble, it gets you stone. Very nice. The sure is one I think is a bit oh, a use for it. I think it's a bit weird. Ah right. See there's some silver ore here. I'm gonna shoot that, and I get a silver bar. Now normally that'd be very good, but this is part of IC2 with the macerator and whatnot. So why would it be nicer to have the bar? Just like that, when you could have two later. Mm, that's, that's confusing me a little bit. As you can see, you do run out of power really quick, but again, you can just chuck it in with a charging wrench or MFSU or probably even just a high box cell fan itself. Uh, oh yeah, this one holds about 2 million EU of power, I think. So it takes ages to charge. Okay, scatter. Oh god. I'm, I'm going away from everything for this. I will only right click once, but watch. Starters, it goes about 30 blocks away. And let's go back up to the surface, it goes random directions. I don't know if my FPS shows, but <laughs> I just lost about 10 FPS. It's ridiculous, and, and on servers, you just can't use scatter moves. Also use a lot of power. Ah, that's a fun one. Explosive. <laughs> oh, it'd be really nice if we cook the chickens. That'd be really cool. But uh, this is pretty good. Oh, just a ton of Okay. Right, anyway, let's have a playing round. Mining, this is kind of like long range, just not as far. There's 10 blocks or so. Yeah, I think there's about 9, 10 blocks. And it just goes one by one plus you. And that's all the. Oh my. Wow. Lag, um, and yeah, I think that is all Ice 2 stuff done actually. Um, yeah, it looks like we covered all of it. There are more Ice 2 tools, but I, I really don't think they're useful or worth mentioning thus far. I'll make another tutorial of it if they do have some higher purpose stuff. Anyways, like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Uh, bye for now, guys.